In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to scan your PC for malware using Windows 10 Windows Defender. So what exactly is malware? Uh, in collective terms it's, uh, it's destructive and disruptive software created with a specific intent of stealing your private information uh, about you, stealing money or simply just you know damaging your computer. Um, it includes uh, viruses uh, that can attack and take over your system, you know, browser add-ons that display pop-ups, uh, key loggers, you know, uh, the things that change your home page from Google to to some random page at every time and you, you know you fight to change it back and forth. Uh, stuff like that. So it's just mainly something you don't want to have on your computer. It's going to slow it down, it's going to bog it down, so let's uh, let's get rid of those. So to start we can click on the uh, the start button in Windows here. We'll click all apps and we're going to scroll right to the bottom. And you're going to notice this folder here, Windows System. We'll scroll to the bottom again and you can see Windows Defender. So the security software works by recognizing the signatures of known malware and uh, the signatures of malware are changing all the time so if you've had your computer off for a period of time or you know it's a fresh install like I have for Windows 10 here we might want to go ahead and we'll click the update tab and uh, we'll update our definitions so depending like I said if it's been off for a while or whatnot it may take some uh, extended period of time for it to connect and uh, to the server and download the latest malware signatures so we'll let it go ahead and do that. Um, once your definitions are updated, we'll uh, we'll click back to the home tab. We can probably do this while it's updating. Yeah. And uh, on the right, you'll see three buttons for a quick, full, or custom scan. Uh, right over here. So. Um, if this is your first time that you've scanned your system or it's been a while since the last scan you've done you you're gonna probably want to do a full scan and uh, depending on the amount of files you have in your computer or not uh, it, it could take a while you know a few minutes half hour two hours um, and then here we have the history tab so if uh, if Defender finds any malware on your system, it will attempt to uh, to disinfect it uh, the files by removing the malicious uh, elements. So uh, the most likely source of the malware is your email. Um, you get a lot of crap in your emails. Um, so Defender may delete some emails that may contain viruses. Um, if it uh, if it finds any files that are so badly infected that they cannot be disinfected it will pop up and it will message asking you if it's okay to delete the file in most cases um, this would be the best course of action however if it's a file that's vital part of the operating system um, your only resource may be to format and reinstall or do uh, you know a system uh, repair the system with the Windows CD so uh, once your PC has been scanned, uh, Windows Defender will continue to monitor it for specific software and maintain a good level of protection. Uh, it's also a good idea to use a um, you know, quick scan option on your system, I'd say about once a week. So you can see here, it's just installing the latest updates. Should be a few more seconds here. All right, and as you can see here, our virus and spyware uh, definitions are up to date. We'll click back to the home, and we'll click scan now. And we'll just let the uh, Windows Defender scan our system for any viruses and malware. So if it uh, if it finds anything at this point, it will probably bring it, pop up and uh, bring it to our attention as uh, what do we want to do? Uh, clean the file, uh, delete it if we can't clean it. And, and whatnot like I was saying before. So that's everything. Uh, like I said, once a week I would recommend doing the, uh, the quick scan just to scan to see if there's anything on your system that may be malicious and we can remove it. We can keep the system healthy and uh, the speed up and nothing's gonna bog us down. All right, well that's it for this tutorial. Thank you and I'll see you next time.